are super excited to have you here for another amazing Frank Friday. I am Ellie Hayworth. As many of you know already, I am the founder of an art consultancy, Hayworth, and I am joined by my amazing co-host and really the kind of founder of our Frank Fridays initiative, the founder of Art Frankly, Carlina Moeller. Hi, Carlina. Oh, hello, Ellie, and happy Friday, everyone. Thank you, and likewise. Um, and guys, we're really excited because today we are joined by Christina Garcia, who is a longtime friend of mine and also an amazing creative in her own right. Um, hi, Christina. We're excited to have you. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Carlina. Thank you so much right. for having me. We are very excited. Um, so Christina, let me just kind of kick us off. We are talking today um, within the theme of kind of art for all. And you and I have known each other for a long time, but most recently we've collaborated on um, a new gig that you recently launched, which is a digital platform for the art world that really does pioneer this idea of accessibility and art for all. It is called Art Child. Um, so maybe you can kind of kick us off by introducing a little bit about Art Child. What was it about this idea of making an interactive art platform digitally that, you know, inspired the, the launch of Art Child? So Art Child is a platform where you can customize different artists' artworks. And the way that you do that is you choose from an array of artists that we feature and you can co-create their artwork on an interactive canvas. And they curate a color palette and then you kind of fill in, you know, where you want the colors to go, patterns to create your own unique edition of their work. And then the works are available to collect as a limited edition premium Jicle print, um, or we're also rolling out minting them as NFTs. It's to ensure the piece's traceability, to ensure that it's verified as limited edition. And, you know, I think making a digital art platform where we can feature, you know, an array of different artists just allows us to be inclusive of so many different, so many different artists in general, because um, I think the, the fact that it's a digital platform just opens the doors to all new different users and communities all over. So, yeah. Yeah. And I think one of the things that you and I have chatted about in the past is also it's this kind of idea where you're taken back to like this child childlike wonder because, you know, you're given maybe a platform to start with or a foundation to start with, but you can kind of imbue it with your own personality. Um, so, yeah, I can certainly see where it helps kind of break down some of those barriers. You know, the vision for the platform is just to be like a, a fun, creative outlet. Um, a fun place for creative addition. So allowing artists to have a place where they can kind of like exercise something that's fun and interactive for their collectors and like a whole community and also kind of bring the community into the creative process and allow allowing people to personalize their own work just kind of adds, allows them to learn a little bit from the artists, kind of connect directly with the artists. So just kind of being like a very welcoming space for everyone and something that's super playful, welcoming, and easy to use. Yeah. Can you maybe describe a little bit for us? Um, it is a digital platform. We've kind of hit that home. But what was the process of working? Some of the artists are digitally native, but some of them are not. Um, so tell us a little bit about like why a digital platform and what that process was like. <laughs> the process was, has you know, it's still still happening. It's been um, a massive learning experience for sure. Um, you know, I think the process has been a lot of ups and downs, um, a lot of asking for help. Okay, just backing track to the digital aspect of it. Um, we were kind of inspired by these principles of pop art, you know, of like reproduction and kind of removing something super precious from it, but something that's a little bit more like geared in pop culture and something that's popular, right? So, yeah. uh, you know, using like modern technology kind of gave a new spin to this like very traditional concept, but still so current because pop art really is still current. And the process has been of building that um, a massive challenge because the product itself is a platform and you know the tech the tech has to be there and has to be seamless. Yeah, I think it's been a lot of like asking for help, making sure we have the right team in place, making sure we have the right collaborators, um, and kind of also creating a an interactive platform that can be retrofitted to different artist styles. Yeah. So 
if you know like right now we have a very basic um minimum product where like it sort of op functions as a digital coloring book but we we envision like adding all sorts of you know more complex tools into the customization mm -hmm. aspect um depending on different artists so like if we have an artist who works a lot more with collage how does that apply to a co-creation you know platform how like what tools can we add to make that artist's vision come to, to life um yeah. yeah and it's sort of like what's fun about it is kind of seeing how different artists apply their practice to to this concept like we, we, it's sort of like the artists themselves are driving the the new developments that we make on the site because like we get inspired by the visions of the projects that they have for co-creation on our child you know we kind of like yeah. allow them we give them the floor to really tell us what they envision yeah. um, and then we make we plan updates to make that happen for them um so it's definitely a very bespoke process um and doing it digitally obviously allows for you know so much more to happen you know outside of just allowing them to curate a palette of colors patterns what what be they have you know it's just super inspiring to see how they're like rolling with this concept and how they artists actually really do enjoy having when we approach them about it enjoy having this like fun outlet opportunity that's a little bit less serious from a lot of like the different auctions or shows that they're doing this is definitely a lot more like community focused yeah i love that and i think what stands out to me from what you just said is this idea you certainly have a great team of collaborators but the artists themselves are just as much the collaborators um oh, and so having yeah, I like the digital canvas becomes something that you almost like are giving them a blank slate and they get to evolve. For um, sure, for sure. Christina, thank you so much for joining us today. This is just like so fun talking with you and, you know, having a comrade who's working in the art and tech space, it's just always refreshing to hear your take and and different companies takes um and you know as you were just talking i have to ask the question when and where was the idea of art child born how did you come up with this okay wow so <laughs> the original concept of our child was born in 2016 and it was it was so my mom first approached me in 2016 about the concept of art child but sort of a different Spin of it. Um, mm -hmm. And she told me, you know, I have this concept where I want to have the original idea was meant to be a coloring app. Um, and she really wanted to. So my mom is an artist as well. Um, and she's a paint, she's a painter and architect. So she had this idea of like having a coloring app um, that then people could collect prints of their, you know, of their final creation. Um, and that really excited me, but I didn't feel prepared to take that on in 2016. I was like, you know, <laughs> in the beginning of my career in New York, I was, I hadn't graduated that many years before mm -hmm. that. I was really learning so much. Um, I definitely felt like I wasn't ready to take this on and bring it to life. So um, several years later, during COVID, I had kind of had an opportunity with more free time on my hands during shelter in place to kind of like revisit working on this with her. And what really excited me and and made me realize what would make the platform a little bit more like fitted for the contemporary space um, was the idea of like expanding the artists to not just her, but all kinds of different artists in this community. Because also during 2019, this was like the very beginning of well, not the beginning of, but I felt like um, the rise of the NFT art yeah. community was really starting to flourish and like starting to take up more space. And um, that conversation just really excited me because, you know, we started to connect more and more with just different artists digitally. Um, and so the landscape was changing and I felt like we could kind of make updates to the the concept of the platform and the format so rather than an app like just a, a responsive web app um with less barrier to entry um and speaking to this the contemporary space so and that also just really got me excited like I, I part of my job as a creative director is to build teams and work with all different creatives and i i loved the concept of working directly with 
just so many artists that I admire. So I really, I really committed to the project in 2019 and just kind of like took it, took off from there and then started to put the right team in place, find the right developers and um, evolved, you know, took the skeleton of what my mom, her, of her brainchild and really, um, we just ran with it, but kind of evolved it to be a little bit more like current for, and updated for the space and, and what was happening. The brainchild became the art child. So yeah. I, lo <laughs> yeah, I, I love, love it. Yeah, <laughs> um, totally. So tell us what's, what's up on the horizon? What's next for art child? Any exciting things in the pipeline? Absolutely. Um, so, you know, we are completely self-funded and we're a really, really small team. Um, so, you know, there's of course hurdles that we face all the time and some things take more time than others as I'm sure both of you guys understand. Um, we know that but, very well. <laughs> yeah. So we're currently, our next artist um, collection, we're aiming to launch it in the next month. Um, so we're working like super hard right now behind the scenes to make that happen as well as having our minting capability up and running for that. So, and that will really allow us to open the doors and be inclusive to so many creators who, um, you know, mint their works and, um, and also digital collectors. So that way we can kind of like, we do really want Art Child to be like a welcoming space for all different types of creators mm -hmm. and all different levels of collectors. So somebody who may, you know, be more familiar with web two or just collecting traditionally like print pieces, um, but also be a welcoming space for digitally native collectors. So that's like a huge milestone for us to be making that update. I think hopefully this year we can really launch in a bigger way. We, um, we did a preview at the Affordable Art Fair this past September, but that was really like a very quiet sort of like trial run to just kind yeah. of see real people interacting with the platform and just taking notes, you know, like what do we need to improve on? Uh, what do people wanna see? How are they reacting to certain things? Um, is the platform easy for them to use? Cause that's super, super important for us. Kind of taking all of that feedback and applying it to this year. So um, yeah, I'm hoping that this year we can actually have like a bigger launch moment with these artists that, that we really, really admire. And, um, and, you know, also just ensure that it's a seamless and fun experience for all different types of art lovers, you know? Um, this is really just meant to be like a fun, creative outlet for people and one that's also inviting, you know, some, some, some place, a space where people can commune around just loving art um, without formal admissions, prerequisites to join, just really where we aim to just, you know, have a very inviting, welcoming space and, you know, give, give, give users an outstretched hand to be like, this isn't intimidating, this is not, an intimidating art platform, like, please come join. As, um, as a beta tester, I can attest to the fact <laughs> that it was very interactive. And I think, frankly, the culture of the founders and the team carries down to this idea of just being kind of fun and welcoming. And so I think you guys are doing a great job, but I know that there's a lot to come. Yes, absolutely. And there's just so many we, we constantly have so many fun application ideas and, you know, we, we're we're a very eager and super passionate team and we just care a lot about the artists that we're working with. So I am just, you know, super hopeful about where we're going and, and excited about all the collaborations that we have coming up. Well, Me too. <laughs> us too. <laughs> We'd like a front row seat, please. Yeah, so uh, let us know when it. you can. Any yeah, further information it. about the upcoming drops, it's exciting. Absolutely, of course. I'll be in touch very soon. Don't worry. <laughs> cool. <laughs> well, Christina, this was amazing. We are happy that you carved out a little time from your Friday to talk with us today. And um, it's just always nice talking a little bit more about you and about Art Child. So thank you for being a part of this. Thank you for having me, guys. This was awesome.